Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I thought I'd uh, stop in and um, before I head out of town here, um, I and definitely go over some things for this week. Um, I've had a couple of people que you know, get some questions here on some different topics. And so I think we need to kind of go over a couple of things. So let me um, go ahead and share my screen here. So that way we can... Uh, I can get things rolling here. Um, there we go. Okay, so as we take a look at this, um, this is week three, um, and that's where we're at. Um, and week three is kind of crucial because it leads into week four. Okay, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the assessments or anything, but I will talk a little bit about the case. So we take a look at the case assignment, which is right here, and which a lot of you have started to find. Okay. And these are the these are the different cases that you're going to be able to choose from. OK, you've got six of them here. OK, and you can choose from uh, excuse me, seven of them and you can choose from any of those that you want. OK, and you click on that and it'll bring up the PDF of the case. Um, pretty simple. Um, then we'll go back down to week three here. And as we get into week three here, we get this aspect of. OK, the individual portion of the case. OK, so in week three, you um, need to let me know what groups you're going to be working in for next week. OK, because next week you're going to bring the groups of three together and you guys are actually going to go ahead and put those uh, put those groups together and put this assignment together as a group assignment. So for this one here, you're going to take a look at this where um on the individual part, we're going to be taking a look at things like the root cause, which is digging down in there. And it's called the root because you want to go deep enough into your problem to make sure that you got understand where the problems are and be able to see so you, what you're going to want to do is dig down to the root to the root, which you think is the root cause on um, end of the problem and then research some articles of a potential solution. OK, and that can be one or two articles. OK. Then I want you to go ahead and present basically a problem statement, okay, which again, individually, you're going to take a look at that of what it, the primary issue is, which is the root cause, and then the secondary issues that are there. And there's going to be more in these cases, there's going to be several, um, uh, um, there's one root cause and several secondary issues. So what will happen is you get to, you get together and basically you're going to take a look at those and a lot of those, a lot of those problems that you're looking at from the problem perspective, those secondary issues are going to be on the surface. They're not going to be at the root level. They're going to be at the surface. They're going to be the easy pickings, okay? The stuff that you can go along the ground and pick up sticks kind of type of thing, okay, as you're looking at this problem. So you're going to want to go ahead and get past that and get into the root cause, but you also want to address those secondary issues, okay? And then you're going to research an article summary basically addressing one of those secondary issues, okay? And then you're going to design a course of action, okay? So this is kind of a little bit different if you've done a case study before. This is kind of a, an abbreviated section. If you want to look at it that way, we're going to dive into a deeper one, deeper case coming up. But right now, we're going to take a look at these. And basically, we've got these three sections is what I would like you to see. I would like to see in your submission, okay? along with those two articles, okay, which are going to be article summaries. And I do have a, an article summary posted here of what we're kind of looking at. Okay, so that's the that's that part. Now we'll go down here to the article summary. And I can't remember whether I put it in the professor's office. I did not put it there. Okay, so... So let's go ahead and go down here. In week three. Okay. Let's see if this is what I was looking for. Nope. That is definitely, that's not it. Okay. Um, Let's see here. I will find that, move that into the, in the spot, into in here for you, um, on how to do an article summary and some article examples for you. Um, 
time. Okay, that didn't appears not to have copied over. So I'm going to double check that and get that up in week three for you. Okay, so this is where you're going to actually put, this is what the, uh, these are the cases again. Okay. Um, and then you're going to actually tell me what groups you're in and what case you're working. Okay, so if we take a look at group week three here, um, you're going to want to uh, take a look at the individual uh, posting your groups here. Okay. And what you're going to do here is let me know who is in your group and what case you're doing. Okay. That's a quick, simple reply there. Now, I do have in here under people, okay, is where I'll be putting you guys into groups. So you have, this is the project groups, okay? And I actually do have one group that's already that's already gotten a hold of me, okay? And they have uh, already ta taken hold, okay? So these, Robert, Nolan, and Dylan have already reached out to me. So they're all on board right now in group one and there. So it, the rest of you guys, what we will be doing is um, as you as you email me, even though I'm gone, um, I'll be looking and putting you guys into groups so that way you guys can take a look at that. OK, so but you're still going to work individually for this week. OK, so that way you're going to but you need to make sure that your group is set up and ready to roll. OK, so let's go back to modules. Just do a quick review here. In case anybody else has any questions on that you might have, you can certainly email me this week. My response time might, may be a little bit slower, but um, it's definitely there. So you're gonna you're gonna choose your group, and then if you don't have a group in the next few days, by the end of the week, by Friday, I will go ahead and actually give you a uh, um I'll put you into groups. So um and get you assigned. So that won't be a problem. Um, I would suggest you reach out to people in the class. So what we're gonna do here is, um, is that has to be done by Friday. So let me put a due date in there right now. So you guys can take a look at that. Um, and we can get a due date in here. So that way you guys know what, what it's due on Friday. So, um, I have to do this, okay, it's not that. And then we'll put a due date here of Friday. If it's not done by Friday, I will definitely uh, be assigning you guys on, on Friday. So, and again, any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. I know this is kind of a confusing week, sort of, but we'll go ahead and get you, we'll get you straightened around. If you have any, um, looking forward to seeing you guys in the class this week and I'm still um I'm still grading along so hopefully we'll get those wrapped up